and this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the Popular Kitchen Gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I wanted to show you just how easy it is to use the Ninja Foodie to make meatloaf. Pressure cooking first and then air frying for a lovely cheesy uh, melt in your mouth moment. You will absolutely love the way this recipe comes together. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter, and there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. So, what ingredients do you need? Well, we've kept it pretty simple. We've got some nice mince, or as you call it in the US, ground beef. And we've got Worcester sauce, sweet paprika, pepper and salt, uh, mixed herbs, and an onion. And then of course, we'll be adding some uh, melted cheese later as well as some tomato ketchup. And it's just fantastic for quickly throwing in the Ninja Foodie for a quick lunch or dinner. So I recommend you start with your onion. So get everything else out of the way and then make room for it. You only need a small onion and you'll find that some of it will remain in the bottom of the bowl anyway. So you really don't need a lot. So it's perfect if you've got some spare onion left over. You can also use a uh, frozen onion as well uh, that's already diced and this can save you a couple of minutes of prep. And this is also great for when you don't need much onion. So you want to aim for small chunks as you're chopping it. And then once you've done it and you've made sure it's chopped, you can load it into your mixing bowl. I recommend um, quite a big bowl for when you're making your meatloaf because then it's easy for you to mix the ingredients in together. And then the mince we're actually using is 5% uh, fat lean, lean mince because it's so much better and then you don't have as much fat dripping off as it cooks. And our packs are 500 grams and we recommend about 800 grams in a meatloaf. So you just want to do kind of one and a half packs. So a little over half and that should be enough. And then and just quickly add in your seasonings so that's your mixed herbs sweet paprika what's the sauce lots of sea salt and a little bit of black pepper also note that I prefer my meatloaf to be gluten free so I don't include breadcrumbs or eggs and just by avoiding the eggs uh, you can then do it without breadcrumbs and then you just want to get your hands in and get it all mixed in together nicely most important thing is to mix the herbs in because you don't want to end up with a slice with loads of sweet paprika and then not taste it anywhere else. And kind of be aiming to do it for a meatloaf shape as well. So, as you can see from the bowl there, you always end up losing some of the onions and then you wanting to focus on binding together a meatloaf style shape so that it will cook and feel like a proper meatloaf and then it'll be good for slicing. My son's absolute ultimate complaint about my meatloaf is that I never do enough but he's not here so it just uh, it's great for two people. So then once you've got it to a meatloaf shape then you need the foil so let me just grab some foil so then 
Use your work top, grab your foil. You want the flappy bit at the top because then it's easier for the process of when we add the cheese later. So then now you've prepared the meatloaf, you want to add a cup of water to the bottom of the Ninja Foodie. This is for the pressure cooker element. Add in your air fry basket and then load in your meatloaf. And as you can see, it per perfectly fits in our Ninja Foodie. You know, you might be doing slightly bigger ones. So just make sure it fits to size of your air fry basket before you pressure cook. And then, then lid on, and then you want to be pressure cooking for 20 minutes on high pressure, and then doing a quick pressure release, and then we can come back shortly and show you the air fryer method. So the meatloaf's done its pressure cooking now and we've released all the remaining pressure. So we can get the lid off and check on it. And whoa, <laughs> it's always the steam attack, isn't it? Whenever you open the pressure cooker lid. And then what you need is you need a good pair of gloves like these so that you don't burn yourself as you're removing the air fryer basket. And then, that's your meatloaf so far in front of you. And then what you want to do is you want to lose the liquid that's in the bottom of the ninja pot. So now for the fun bit, you want to peel the foil back so that you've got full access to the top of it. And this is why what I said earlier about making sure that you fold it at the top and then what you can do now is you can add loads of yummy cheese and you can also add some ketchup too if you want so if you want to do both then simply cover with ketchup on the top it's a bit hot so i'm just squirting it and not actually uh, using my hands there and then you want a bunch of cheese grated because it's so much easier to spread out in there and then once you're happy with the quantity of cheese that you've got then it's time to air fry so gently place it back in like that and then the next step is to put the air fry lid down and we're going with a cook time of five minutes and a temperature of 200 Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit. And of course, if you would like this recipe in full, you can find it over on RecipeThis.com by searching for Ninja Foodie Meatloaf. And you'll also find a printable recipe card there. And it's baked. Oh, wow. Oh, that is melted cheese. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love melted cheese on things. So gloves again are your best option uh, to very easily be able to grab it out of the air fryer. Right, so you can literally just grab it like that, but note that the big problem you have is that the meatloaf, when you've cooked it like this, it does carry a lot of liquid. If you can see, you can see all the liquid that's come off the fat uh, there. And you just kind of want to avoid that so the easiest way to do that is to find something in your kitchen that you can use to remove the meatloaf and leave everything else in there so i give you a better close up on that so that's all the juices that you've got from your meat and note the big difference here is that we've used 5% mince. Most people haven't. And also note that as you've got your holes in there, it's easy for it to come out. So we can do with a, a cloth or something to get rid of the excess from here. 
So that's the problem with the air fryer basket. It just carries so many holes in it that it's perfect for air frying stuff, but you can end up with this kind of problem. I always like to make you aware of this kind of thing because I think sometimes you see a before and after of a video and it just looks too perfect. And this is kind of real life of what it's really like. And then let me just grab my hands a little bit. So, minus the juices that come out. And like I say, remember this is 5% mince. So if you're using mince that's like say 20% or full fat, you're gonna have a lot more of that liquid to deal with. Once you've sorted it out, you can slice into your meatloaf. And wow, this meatloaf looks perfect. Very, very hot though. On my fingers. And as you can see there, tomato sauce is on it absolutely perfect and you can slice through that and serve it so the meatloaf's cool enough to touch and i cannot wait to tuck in i mean look at that doesn't that look amazing mm. oh it's so nice and it really does make a difference uh, when you add your melted cheese and tomato ketchup to the top and air fry it and I've cooked meatloaf now in the air fry and in the instant pot and in the slow cooker and I have to say the ninja food is the best one because it's the best of both worlds you can go from pressure cooking to air fryer in air frying in a flash and it's just amazing Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there. 